write poems, I mope, and uh, I make fun of those who fight with swords instead of their mind, because they're all idiots. I'm an extremely powerful blood mage in my own mind. In Dagger Deep, just outside of Duncan, interspecies conflict is a fact of life as prejudice has been passed down through the generations. In here there is an ugly one-eyed shopkeep. It's also a goblin. Two eyes! Filthy Red King. Yeah, he's rude, eh? He does that all the time. He's a goblin. Yeah, so see? I told you they were xenophobic! Just because I'm green! This fantasy world has many elements that are rooted in reality, including their own currency called Dane and their own original languages. So who can read this? Can everyone read this? If they spend 10 separate moments with uh, at least about 10 minutes with someone who can teach them that language, they can learn to form out the letters and write them and read them and be able to utilize those scrolls. And don't just think that this is some fantastical world of anarchy. There are long lists of laws that citizens of Dagger's Deep must abide by. These laws even include special rules for vampires. Spending time out at Dagger Deep is more than just escaping into a dream world. That's my best song. It's an amazing release from what you normally see day to day and the people that come here all have the same mentality. So it's almost like we're a separate community from the world that we normally deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. What brings people to Dagger's Deep is not necessarily just gameplay. These people come together for the sense of community within Medieval Chaos. You mind if I take my wig off for a second? All right, cool. So bear with me for a moment, guys, sorry. Um, so I've been coming here for uh, about a year and a half now. Um, uh, I, I raved about it so much with my wife. She's in the, the pirate gear with the, uh, the tricorn hat. I raved about it so much to her that she wanted to come out and try it herself. Characters work together on stage sieges and raids that they would never be able to experience in the real world. It only has to be hit with a batting ram once and then it's wide open, but it's the rush. It's the experience of being behind the doors as they explode open and all the men like, rush in and all the women rush in and they yell and uh, yeah, unleash a pandemonium. That is um, Fort um, Roanoke. Clearly dressing up and touring through the wilderness is a lot of fun, or at least I really enjoyed it. But the real story out at Dagger Deep is the camaraderie and the community that role play provides. As I was explaining earlier, this is our eatery, though I'm sure the goblin wouldn't eat here because it doesn't have rats on the main. No, no, cats, cats. Rats are diseased. Cats are so munchy. Are oh. the bar, <laughs> A friend of mine used to run this bar. His name is Gritsnicht. And sitting here with Will and Marius and the Goblin, we are in Dagger's Deep, also known as Duncan, BC. And I'm Meg Cuthbert. So, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Ah. Thank you. Thank Good you. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Philip's nice. <laughs>